is running right now, okay? So. <sighs> okay. Looks okay. nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, here you go. Just can hold it like this or keep it on the, here, however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, first. Hello, my viewers. I am up on the roof of my camper and putting uh, last. Go ahead and shoot the uh, can here. Um, Elasto Barrier by Ames. It's a real liquid rubber membrane. Okay, now it goes on kind of in a process. Now, they do sell a tape so you can. Go ahead and like this. They do sell a tape that, so that you can tape your tape joints in it, okay? But the thing is, is I don't feel it's necessary because of the way I'm doing this. First thing you do, okay, and then right here we're in. First thing you do is, you know, you go ahead and get a whole bunch of, uh, of the uh, product on your roller. Or don't matter, you can use a brush, broom, you know, whatever you got. Uh, and uh, it's going to go down real thick, and that's what you want. You want it real thick. Okay. Um, anybody can do this. It's really, you know, if you've got uh, kind of a talent for painting. In fact, you don't really even have to have a real talent for painting. Just kind of a, a desire to do something with the roof of your camper. Or RV or anything. Okay, and then the next part of the process is I take this uh, fibered mesh uh, that you can buy online or directly from Ames. It's actually an Ames product. And uh, now lay this over the area that I just painted, okay? And this part of it can be a little tricky, uh, in a way. It's just a little uh, awkward sometimes. Um, kind of helps if you got more than one person to help you, but what do you do? You know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get things done. Now, I'm putting the, the membrane down. Um, over where I had painted and overlapping the other stretch of, of membrane okay by just a little bit and uh, okay and kind of get it down as good flat and even as you can try to work out bubbles however you can uh, And uh, then take some more of the liquid rubber and you uh, go ahead and paint it on top of the membrane. So it sandwiches the membrane between your wood and the top layer of the actual rubber material. And uh, Let's see. I mean, I had searched all over the internet looking for other alternatives to your standard rubber sheeting, and uh, this is the best thing I came up with right here. Maybe some of you could uh, enlighten us as to other maybe better products. I don't know, but uh, you know, sometimes you run into little bumps like that. But that's all right. Um, best to, you know take care of those bumps when before you put this down I guess sometimes those they get through anyway so then as you go uh, you're gonna want to lay this down to where you can uh, continue laying down the uh, product
It doesn't have to be real nice and neat or nothing, but you want to get uh, quite a bit down. You know, make it nice and sloppy. Um, the trick here is not to go too far uh, beyond what you can comfortably handle at a time. Um, so, now I'm laying down this the mesh again. Okay. And good. And then more of the paint product, whatever you call it. I guess it's not technically a paint. It's really a, a rubber. It's a chemical that uh, makes for like a rubberized surface. Of course, even when I finish with this, I'm not finishing, not, excuse me, I'm not really finished with the entire process. Because on top of this goes a white coat, which is supposed to be for UV protection. Because this uh, gray rubber material is not really UV protecting uh, the uh, surface. Um, so, let's see, I'll go ahead and do another one here, getting it, okay, as you see I'm not really even using a, uh, a rolling pan, I'm just dipping it, dipping my nap right into the bucket, okay, so because I can just slop this stuff right on there and everything's just fine. I think right, this, right here I'm going to go ahead and stretch out some more of the mesh. And probably don't have to tell you, you got to watch out that you don't step off the roof. Now the a five gallon bucket is supposed to cover about uh, 240 square feet, I believe it is. That's right about what my trailer is, about, you know, about 240 feet, square feet. So I got just enough, but I got a feeling I'm going to have a little extra, you know, oh, I got a little bump in there to take care of yeah and sometimes when you try to take care of them little bumps <laughs> you run into other problems <sighs> let's see I'm gonna have to pull it up a little bit yeah. and lay it back down oh, okay Over. Oop, I got a little piece of string or something here. Don't need that in there. Kind of have to pick along the, you know, stuff as you go. All right, I think I can go with uh, one more. One more. Appreciate all your comments below. Um, some people don't leave comments, which I can I can understand that. I guess you know nobody really wants to leave any comments. Sometimes you know they just don't feel it, so I can understand that. But it does help the world to uh, I guess make a, the world a better place. If you express your ideas. Um, and uh, comments and things to maybe 
say what you think of the process, or maybe you found a better process. Um, so, well, let's see. Almost, almost got her done on this side, on this one. I know my camera lady here is kind of getting tired of standing on a ladder. So. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I get they. I don't know. I guess uh, you're supposed to wear gloves. I hear, but you know, that's all right. I'll just pick this stuff off later on. I've had a lot worse on my hands. All right, and we'll call it that for now. Thank you. Okay.